guys, welcome back and welcome to a new course. So in this series of video, I'm going to help you to learn Spring MBC. And if you are a Java beginner and if you are thinking, well, should I learn Spring MBC? Then I should say definitely. So Spring MBC is one of the most popular module in Spring and been used widely, uh, you know, across different company. So uh, learning Spring MBC is going to definitely give you a boost on your resume and obviously going to help you to crack your job interview you know pretty soon if you're looking for a job and uh, okay so before you move into this particular course what is what is a prerequisite so you have to you have to know java first of all so uh, be good with core java a little then the next thing is uh, you have to understand uh, jdbc servlet and jsp these are the three things that i'm going to use in this course as well then the next thing is you should learn um, Spring Core, obviously. You will learn any module in Spring, right? You learn Spring Boot, you learn Spring REST, you learn Spring ORM, Spring AOP, Spring MBC, anything you learn. The common thing is Spring Core and you obviously should have a good understanding on Spring Core before you continuing this particular course. And, and if you don't know Spring Core, then I do have a good news for you. I do also have a course available on Spring Core, which is completely free. And I'll give you the link in the I button there or in the description, you'll get the link. Go there, you know, understand that course first. And whatever the video that I do have right there, I'll be using all those concepts right here. So basically, I'll be using all the concepts that we learned in our Spring Core course. Uh, I'm going to use dependency injection, Spring IOC. You should be having a good understanding on containers like application context um, and all those things. And also you should be knowing the constructor injection, setter injection, basically the dependency injection. And the next thing is you should be have a good understanding on auto wearing and the component scanning and all the stuff. And also you should have a little bit of understanding on bean lifecycle, how we are starting the container, how we are closing the container and all those things. If you learn all these things guys, the things that I'm going to discuss over here is going to be pretty, pretty simple for you. Spring MBC is, trust me, it is pretty simple, right? You just need to have a good foundation. And obviously you can use my course uh, to have that. And obviously if you don't like my course, go online, learn Spring Core first, then jump into Spring MBC. Don't just rush into Spring MBC because your company is telling you to learn Spring MBC or somebody is asking you uh, to learn Spring MBC, okay? Go step by step, learn through your basics. Then, you know, you can jump into any module of Spring once you complete Spring Core. Okay, the next thing is you should have some understanding, as I said, on JDBC, Servlet and JSP. And obviously about web server, Tomcat, how to start it, how to stop it, how to, how to deploy your web project in, the, in your Tomcat and all those things. And having a little bit idea on MBC design pattern is going to help you a lot in this course. So again, if you don't have it, and don't worry, I already have a course for you. Uh, so you can take my beginner's course on MVC architecture or MVC design pattern, whatever you say that. So basically this course is going to help you to create a web application using MVC design pattern. And also it's going to help you uh, to learn some industry approach as well, right? Once you finish that, once you finish that basic course, get started with this course, but don't rush and don't jump, okay? So, okay, so this is pretty much what I want to say. Anything else? Uh, probably not. Uh, Java, Core Java, Advanced Java, what do you call in India, Advanced Java, JDBC, Servlet, JSP, Spring Core. Three, three prerequisite, okay? Then, there you go. You are the best. Nobody can stop you. Okay, what you are going to get out of this course? Okay, so I, I, I'm actually working on this course for the last, uh, uh, last couple of week and I, I feel that you know you can actually use this course uh, you know to learn uh, pretty much deep concept about Spring MBC. The next thing is I'll teach you you know how to work on Spring MBC in your companies and how to debug your application, how to how to use different uh, techniques, uh, tips, tricks and all those things. But before that first of all we need to learn basics of Spring MBC as well. Once you learn the basics then we can go into those things. So first of all, I'll, I'm gonna show you a lot of diagrams, pictures, slide, presentation. We'll do a lot of hands-on on Spring MBC basics right here in the first 10 or 20 videos 
uh, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in some advanced thing and we're going to create a proper web application full flex working and you can also show that application if you're going for a job interview and tell them okay I have developed it and obviously they're going to like it they're going to see okay now this guy learned Spring MVC he's just not placing these things in the resume he also has an application to show up okay so as you are actually going to develop that particular application by yourself I'm going to say you that you know you will be mastering a lot of things right and you are going to have a lot of lot of real-time experience uh, by building this application cool so basics I'm going to cover and also I'm going to cover some advanced thing and I'll help you to create a, a complete web application using Spring MVC and which will be pretty much real time and obviously you will be using all your Spring MVC concept that you're learning throughout this video on that web project okay so that's what I want to say and okay one more question one more doubt you might have that okay if I'm learning Spring MVC, why not I should learn Spring Boot, okay? Guys, I'll tell you one thing. Learn Spring MVC first, then you go to Spring Boot, okay? That's gonna help you to understand actually how Spring Boot is actually working internally, right? If you're going to use Spring Boot, Spring Boot will do a lot of things for you, a lot of configuration for you. And you must be wondering at the time, okay, how the things are happening actually. But if you're going to work on Spring MVC, that's going to give you a complete idea how the flow is working. And after that, you can switch to Spring Boot and you can learn like this, okay? Trust me whenever I'm saying it because actually I experienced it. I, I, I'm a guy like you. I also study. I also work. So this is, this is what my experience that I do have um, you know for the last few years I'm working in IT industry and I feel well spring MBC learning spring MBC is actually going to help you to understand the flow then you jump to spring boot this is my own thought right uh, maybe you can criticize it maybe you can say okay I can directly go and learn spring boot you are welcome but this is what I think okay cool so this is what uh, i want to convey to you in this video no coding nothing we'll be getting started with the coding in the next video and hopefully you'll be enjoying with this particular course i don't want to bore you guys anymore so i'll see you in the course until then bye bye and take care and obviously happy coding